actually have my um, OB-GYN appointment today. I am 24 weeks pregnant. Her big sack of coins she has been collecting. And then go to the dollar store and maybe she can spend some of her hard-earned money she's collected. Today, I just dropped Layla Jane off at school and just went to Target by myself, which any moms out there know is wonderful. I wish I would have had more time to just walk around and look at everything, but I'm kind of on a tight schedule because I actually have my um, OB-GYN appointment today. I am 24 weeks pregnant and I have to go in just a little bit and not sure if I have an ultrasound today. I know I did it my last appointment. Anyways, I'm really excited to go because I have a few things I want to ask her about. As I mentioned before, with this pregnancy and with my last pregnancy, I have have an inguinal hernia and it's super painful and so I'm hoping I can talk to her kind of about it and maybe figure out if there's anything at all we can do uh, last time they told us there's nothing where I just have to wait till I'm not pregnant anymore if I need to have surgery on it so I'm really anxious to talk to her about that and then just you know make sure the baby's doing okay so I was looking at my baby center app today and I love this app because it kind of gives you updates every week it's kind of exciting you know when you hit that next week milestone you get an update like what's going on with you what's going on with your baby so I'm 24 weeks pregnant. I have 110 days left of pregnancy. Ugh, that sounds like a lot. The baby is 11 and three fourths inches, so almost a foot. And she weighs about one and a quarter pounds. Um, she is getting ready to breathe. Her lungs are growing. And so that's cute. She's still skinny, but not for long. She will start plumping up soon. Cute. So it says growing uterus. The top of your uterus has risen above your belly button now about the size of a soccer ball. Didn't really give me any other symptoms, just saying it's okay if you're worrying or signs of preterm labor. labor. Um, but just me personally, um, no real major symptoms, just you know the inguinal hernia. No real big cravings either, which I find so funny that I don't have a specific craving this pregnancy, but just, there's just been nothing. I do notice though that come like 5 p.m., I eat everything in sight. It's like during the day, I'm yeah, I'm, I'm hungry, I get hungry, but it's not starving. And then I'm like ravenous, I'm like, I feel like a shark, it's like feeding time. And I'm eating everything in sight pretty much until I go to bed. Cause just everything sounds good and I feel like I can't satisfy whatever it is I'm craving. So I just eat a bunch of stuff. So that's not great, but oh well, it's a weird part of pregnancy. Um, but other than that, you know, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I feel like I never really got that second trimester burst of energy that a lot of people get. I don't know why, but this year I did, maybe because I have a toddler too that I'm chasing around and that keeps me pretty exhausted. But other than that, it's pretty good. I am anxious to go to the doctor's appointment. So I'm going to put all of this stuff away and then we'll head out. Just got back into the waiting room and it's about 40 minutes after my appointment. They are so short staffed. So I'm not upset because they're obviously doing the best they can, but I'm getting a little nervous that I might not make it to pick up Layla Jane. So hopefully Brian is on call and he might be able to pick her up if I'm late. You know, I was just sitting here thinking we don't have an ultrasound today. So that's good, but it bums me because the last two appointments I've had ultrasounds and because of COVID and everything, um, Brian is not allowed to come with me. I'm not allowed to bring anyone to my doctor's appointments, which I totally understand because it is a medical facility, but it is is just so sad because you know Brian hasn't been able to hear her heartbeat or anything like that so just kind of a bummer but I guess that's just the world we're living in right now but hopefully the doctor will be in soon and this will be a short appointment so I can go and pick up Layla Jane because I have some fun stuff planned for us this afternoon all right just got done in the car it started raining while I was in there um, I couldn't film obviously while I was in there, but it was actually just a really short appointment just to check up, see how I'm doing. Again, nothing really she can do about the hernia. I just need to get fixed when after I give birth um, and just ice it down and 
that's kind of that. So I guess I'll just be using a lot of ice packs in the future for the next four months. Um, now I, oh, I did just find out too that the, my next appointment in four weeks, I'm doing the glucose test. Now I know a lot of women who do that hate the glucose test, but I didn't mind it that much. And she actually gave it to me to go, which we I didn't do when I was pregnant with Layla. I had to do it at the office, but they gave it to me here. So I had to keep it in my fridge and then 45 minutes before my next appointment, I take it. All right, I have just enough time to run home and change real fast, and then I'm gonna go get Layla Jane for a fun afternoon. I got Miss Layla. She's under her, her umbrella. It's sprinkling a little bit, so we needed the umbrella. I also got her big sack of coins she has been collecting. And we are gonna go to the little coin star machine and get them and then go to the dollar store and maybe she can spend some of her hard earned money she's collected. You want candy? Well maybe you can use your money to get candy. And I think I'm also gonna get some St. Patty stuff and do some crafts with her this afternoon. How much money do you think you have? 20. 20? I bet you do, That's, there's a lot of coins in there. Quite to 20, but that's pretty good. Layla, here's your money. You ready to go shop? Yeah. Okay. You can choose five things, how about? Okay? So don't just grab the first thing you see, which I think you're doing. Well, let's kind of look around. So this is interesting. So, okay, so we'll get some of those. Now let's look around because you might see more stuff, okay? During the time that I'm filming this, it's not even March 1st. I don't see any St. Patrick's Day stuff. It's all put away and the Easter stuff's out. So I, it's not even March yet and it's gone. Hopefully I can still find a few things. Oh good, here it is. We get one little aisle. All right, so we gotta get some St. Patty stuff. Oh, those are pretty. Look, Layla, these are little lights. I want a rainbow. You want a rainbow headband? Mm -hmm. That's pretty cute. Okay, Layla, so you got a lot of stuff in here, but remember, you can get five things, and I'm sure you'll want some candy up at the front. So why don't, what's in your bag, you pick out four things. We don't really need the flowers, right? Oh, you do, okay. Okay, so we'll just get one hat. You want the flowers. The light. Okay, so you can choose one candy. Might not want to just grab the first thing you see. Scooby-Doo sour straws. Why don't you look at everything and then decide you still want that? Because there's chocolate, there's sour stuff. Those are sour straws. You'll like them. You want to put them in your bag? Mm-hmm. Put them in the basket. All right, girl, let's go check out. So the Dollar Tree I learned today is now actually the Dollar 25 tree. So that was a little bit more expensive than I thought, but still reasonable price, of course, because it's just the Dollar Tree. One of the things I wanna do involves some toilet paper or paper towel rolls, but I don't have enough yet, so I probably won't do that one today. But I am gonna do something involving like these little gold coins that I got, and maybe we'll just kind of decorate the house with some of the little things we got too. All right, I'll let you decorate while I put away the other stuff. Can't wait to see what you do. Oh, so pretty. Oh yes, daddy's gonna find that funny when he tries to go into his office. A leprechaun has hidden 10 coins around the kitchen in the dining room. Mm -hmm. I need you to find them and then match them with the number. Okay. So if you find the coin with number one on it, it goes on the number one. Okay. Can you go look? Which one did you five. find? Okay, come bring it over and match it to the five. Layla, what number is this? Three. All right, go find some more coins. Look around, they could be in the kitchen. Ooh, did you find one? Yay. Good job, where's the 10? Yay! Now I think there's one more in the kitchen. I think I hid one more in there somewhere. Oh, you just walked by it. There you go, what number? Eight. Eight, good job. Such a fun way for them to practice their number recognition. You could also use letters on these, maybe short little sight words. You found the number four, good job. Boy, 
boy, that leprechaun was busy. Yesterday, I cut out a shamrock and then put some contact paper on here and the sticky side there and I thought she could put some tissue paper on there and we could make our own little um, sun catcher window clean thing. Oh, that looks so cool. So we gotta hang that up now on one of the windows. We should do it on the front window right here. So that's where we get most of the sun. Let me go get you some tape. Oh, it already looks so pretty with the sun shining through it. There you go. So pretty. She seems to be liking all these activities. Now the other one I wanna do is making some wind socks and using some toilet paper rolls or paper towel rolls, but I don't have enough yet. I am going to wait and do that one tomorrow, but I will be sure and post it on Instagram so you guys can see the finished product. But thank you so much for joining us today and we'll see you next time, bye.